What's up YouTube, Gemini Johnny back again with another compilation of some of the weirdest, creepiest, and most unexplained TikToks I can find. If this is your first time joining me, thank you, appreciate you being here. If this is not your first time, welcome back, appreciate you being here too. You guys know all my announcements at this point. Join me every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday for a brand new video, and every Sunday for a live stream where you can talk to me and I can respond to you in real time. It's great, I love live streams. All those are going to be at 4.15pm PST, hope to see you there. Alright, that's enough blabbering. So without further ado, let's jump right in. And I think I fixed the full screen audio today. My bad about yesterday. Jerry Bruce is a father who loves spending time with his children. If you hop over to his channel, you'll find that most of his videos have a wholesome quality to them. However, out of all the videos on there, two in particular stand out from the rest. These two videos are different in that they show something that doesn't fit with the family-friendly content of this channel. If anything, they seem to have come from a horror movie, one that is based on a family terrorized by paranormal activity. As it turns out though, that's exactly the case here. Jerry has been encountering strange occurrences in his home that seem to be paranormal in nature. On May 26 of 2009, he is suddenly woken up by a strange noise inside his living room. He immediately grabs his phone and begins to record. Jerry writes, I have never seen anything like this. My wife and I were awakened by the sound of a door closing. This video is all I got before me and my family left the house. This is what he caught. Don't like that. Oh, I was going to say maybe it's a draft or something, but... Strangely, the, draft the handle turn on the other side doorknob. of the door is being turned as though someone inside were doing this. But, as shown in the video, no one is in there. An encounter like this would definitely spook anyone. But then again, there are some who might write this off as being caused by a draft entering the handle's lock. That's what I said. Although it isn't sure but if that's the that case. Doesn't make sense to be turning the It's the second video that seemingly dispels this notion. Oh, this person. On July 11 of 2009, Jerry's recording his son when all of a sudden something really creepy happens. Take a look. Hmm. Whoa! Yep, time to go. The same closet from the first video can be seen opening on its own. Then, seconds later, a toy flips over by itself. It almost seems like whatever had been inside had tripped over this toy in its attempt to get to the child. It is immediately then that he grabs his son and rushes out of the living room at once. Smart man. Understandably, Jerry was totally spooked. Viewers believe that he might be dealing with something paranormal. But, as with most videos, it's hard to be sure if that's so. Could it be that a supernatural presence resides in Jerry's closet? Or is something else going on here? You be the judge. And that's why I only have sliding glass doors in my closets. Wait, yeah, no, it's not why, it's just, you know, how things shook out. Terrifying. Yeah, I was going to say it looked like a, like it could have been a draft or something like that, but the doorknob was turning, man. A draft don't do that. Or at least a little hinge thing inside of there was moving. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, I would have ran too, forget that. These are usually the good ones. Or they mark these, so you think they're going to be good ones, and they're not. What I'm about to show you is the most disturbing thing ever recorded. Okay, ever? so while filming The Exorcist, Linda Blair, the main character, 
was rigged to a mechanical bed that shook her so violently, she ended up fracturing her spine. I've heard this. The most disturbing part was the final scene used in the film was actually her screaming in pain. Mm -hmm. A guy like me would have just got up. I don't know though. Yeah, the movie was horrifying. I remember seeing that as a kid. Uh, the backwards stairs scene. That, bro, will always stick with me. Yeah, lots of weird stuff happened on The Exorcist. Linda Blair, I think she was like legit traumatized from that movie. Uh, sad stuff, man. This disturbing video of a dolphin man was responsible <laughs> for over 800 faintings in 2004. It just resurfaced <laughs> after being removed and banned. <laughs> I'll tell you his story. But save the video for later if you're a scaredy cat. There's a second, supposedly cursed version of this video that I'll show you in a few seconds, complete with an indefinable scream and strange scrolling text. Some strange people oh, sorry, I fainted there. <laughs> the reposted them a few days ago, perhaps because of the hidden message, which concerns us. Nothing's going right on the internet and TikTok these days. Who is he really? Why is he screaming? And what does the strange scrolling message mean? Some say it sounds like Tarzan in a 1930s film, and that the language used in the text that appears in the video is ancient Armenian. The message left by this dolphin man is chilling and doesn't inspire confidence in the future of mankind. Is it just a theory, or is it reality? Hello. This is a warning. Please go check outside your home. Please go check outside your home. Please go check outside your home. Bruh. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I remember this guy from a long time ago on YouTube. And it seemed like he was a makeup artist or something. And he did a lot of cosmetics and animal cosmetics and stuff. I forget his name. But every once in a while that video will pop up. And people put some creepy story behind it. And this is what's wrong with the internet. <laughs> you get to just say whatever you want without any like repercussions for just blatantly lying. <sighs> Alright. Sorry to make you all sit through that. <laughs> this next video shows a father who's recording his son playing a video game when something very unsettling is caught on tape. The father in question is known as Ernesto Spinoza, and he's been uploading videos of his family on his YouTube see better. channel. Although each video shows nothing more than a father who's enjoying the time he spends with his family, two videos in particular stand out from the rest. Unlike the other videos, these two have shown something that has caused concern among viewers of his content. The first video was posted not too long ago, and what's captured in it is pretty creepy. Be sure to look, look at the red ring on the Xbox. Or you'll miss it. You need a new Xbox, bro. Yeah, oh, maybe it's oh, it's a camera. Never mind. Yeah, not getting it now. Oh man, hold on. Let me tr let me read the subtitles. Hold on. Go back. The soldier I love. The my now being a mass. Uproar. I don't think these subtitles are right. <laughs> Consume. Yeah. In case you missed it, if you look closely at the pile of toys in the corner, a baby doll can be seen moving on its own. Man away. My fault. That was like raising its arm up. That's kind Ernesto of hadn't noticed this until viewers had pointed this out. Now, although this away. video has convinced most people that Ernesto's family is being haunted by something, it's the second video that has caused the most concern. 65 views? How'd they find At this? At the start of the clip, we can see his daughter dancing around in what appears to be the living room, when all of a sudden, something truly frightening is caught in the background. Take a look. Oh, that was pretty creepy. As the little girl dances around the room, a dark figure passes by quickly inside another room before the door shuts on its own. 
Like the video before, viewers have suggested to Ernesto that he and his family should leave the house immediately. <laughs> For real. Although he appreciates the concern, it seems that he won't be leaving anytime soon, given that there haven't been any more strange occurrences in his home. Well, that's good. But until something like this happens again, it seems that Ernesto and his family will continue to carry on with their lives. The question still remains though, had something paranormal been caught on camera, or was something else caught instead? What? The what did he mean by that? What do you mean by that? Was it paranormal or something else instead? Uh, okay. I think he's just trying to be creepy. I don't think he's trying to say anything with that, but... January 28th of 2024, a mother posted the following footage that she caught on her home security camera. The mother stated this video was recorded inside her bedroom where various instances of paranormal activity have been taking place. In one of these instances, her daughter ran out of the room claiming she heard a woman scream. The mother was confused as she did not hear anyone scream, but upon checking the footage, she saw this. Ooh. A scream from out of nowhere sends her daughter running out of the room. Oh. It's possible the camera was hacked, Poor thing. but this still does not explain the other strange activity that's been going on in her home. The mother believes this video is evidence of something supernatural. Whether or not that's the case, this video is still pretty creepy. Hmm. This is the home security camera footage of the Chrysalic family. The camera is shown sitting on the kitchen counter as the youngest daughter sits on the couch in the background watching TV. Suddenly, a voice begins talking over the speaker. What you watching? Hey, what show is that? Uh. I've seen that show before. What season, y'all? Hello? The girl either doesn't hear the voice or chooses not to respond to it. That's when the dad, Adam, walks in the room, unaware he's being watched. The voice continues, and his head jolts towards the TV. When he realizes it wasn't coming from the TV, he pulls out his phone. That's when he remembers the ring camera. Hello? What are you eating? Can you hear the guy you giggling? Hungry? Just made a whooshing sound with his voice. Hello. This is Ring. Who is this? Who is this? The voice attempts to imitate some sort of robotic ring text to speech voice. However, Adam knows his account's been hacked. He disabled the camera and contacted Ring about the incident. The company responded saying an unidentified phone had logged into the Ring account. They tried to trace it back to a source, but were unable to. They basically told him there was nothing they could do but have him change his password and set up two-factor authentication for his account. A couple in Georgia had installed a home security camera in their bedroom so they could keep an eye on their dog while they were away at work. Oh, puppy. One night, right after the woman had put the dog in his crate for the night, she heard a cough over the camera's speaker. Laying in bed, she looks over at it and sees the blue light turn on, which indicates someone was watching the live feed. She texts her boyfriend who was at work and asks him why he had the feed open. Seconds later, she gets a text back asking what she was talking about. Just then, a voice comes over the speaker. Wake up! <laughs> Hello, doggy, 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 come here, doggy! Hello? Uh, excuse me. I can see you in the bed. Come on, look at the f up. Shortly after, she took the batteries out of the camera. The couple says they later found out that someone had hacked into the Ring account at least four times. They filed a police report, but nothing ever came of it. Right. And that's why I don't keep cameras in my house. Look. Ugh, it's terrifying. We talked about this last week. Like, people putting cameras in their bedrooms and stuff. Like... I'm no cybersecurity expert by any means, but it just seems 
not very smart to put cameras all over your home. I get you want to keep an eye on your kids, your dog, whatever. But man, like people that put a camera in every room, like you just want people to, like you're setting yourself up to be hacked and for people to get into your cameras. And like, well, granted, you know, probably not much more they can do than talk into you, talk to you over the speaker and let you know that they hacked your stuff. But a nefarious person, somebody that's patient, they might, you know, they might have, they probably got your address. They probably got everything. And they might use those cameras to see when you're not home so they can come in and rob you or worse. See when you are home. <sighs> not a very good idea. Uh, definitely if you got any of that, and for any accounts you have, put two-factor authentication. Make sure you're getting notified if anybody's trying to access your stuff. It saved me last week. Somebody was trying to hack my Apple ID. I got a notification. I had to go in and change all my passwords. Which I probably needed to do anyway, but you know, that two factor authentication saved my butt though. Not that I've got much to steal, it's not about that, but I would have had to redo all my accounts and it would have been a huge pain in the butt. Censoring myself, you're welcome, YouTube. Nah, I could probably say ass. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's opening that door? Is this like a 3D rendering? What's happening here? Oh my god. Bruh. If that made you jump, you gotta leave a comment and let me know. <laughs> it made me jump. This video was taken by a home security camera mounted in a homeowner's backyard. Taken on January 16th, 2023, everything seems peaceful at first. But then the camera picks this up. <laughs> As we take a look at the Come back wall, a pale humanoid creature is seen. It's attempting to climb up over this wall, but then it suddenly drops and hides behind the wall. The creature moves too fast to be a human. But when we look closer here, we can see it's pale and skinny with dark sunken eyes. This is why people thought it was a cryptid creature called the Rake. The rake is a supposedly skinny, pale, elongated creature. It has sharp claws and it's said to terrorize people. It's said that these creatures usually reside within the woods. But anyways, whatever this was in the footage, it seemed to leave for good as no other updates or clips were released. And that's why I only film in 4K. Nah, I film in 1080. But, uh, it is weird that aliens and Bigfoot are always blurry. Maybe they're just like that. Maybe these, maybe this footage isn't crappy footage, maybe they're just blurry. Anyone ever think of that? This is footage of the disturbing new TikTok trend that sees a group of young men storm into random people's Bruh. houses while filming their reactions. Is this Bruh, where the study group is? No. Study group. No. Well, this is not where the study yeah, group is. We've got kids, man. Oh, you got kids? Oh, yeah, sorry. The trend has sent the internet into a frenzy, with many users outraged that this has been happening. How would you handle this situation? This wouldn't happen in Texas. You go to any of them southern states, bro. You think you're making it past the foyer? Foyer? How do you say that? Foyer? Foyer? Think you're gonna make it past the four year? <laughs> yeah, and that last comment said, Why are the doors open? That's my question. That is a good question. Why are the doors open? People just leave their doors wide open in the UK? Like, I know I got some UK subscribers. Is that something I'll do? We started locking our doors a long time ago, back when like Ted Bundy and all that stuff was happening. The Night Stalker, like, that, we were like, Oh, we gotta lock our doors? Oh, there's crazy people out there. These people aren't even crazy. They're just trying to get a reaction and some content. And this is not the way to get content. This is as bad as the modern day prank videos where people just walk up and like assault someone and call and they're like, it's a prank, bro. It's a prank. Don't hurt me. It's a prank. Like, bro, you're gonna get hurt. I promise you. And I don't condone violence. I do not. Peace is the way. But I said for a long time, man, some people just aren't scared enough of getting punched in the face. Like you walk into my crib like that, bro, I'm gonna think you're trying to rob me and I'm going into fight mode immediately. I don't understand people. I was hearing noises under the bed. Oh, oh shit. Amanda? <laughs> Dog scared it. <laughs> My friend has a hidden talent where she can laugh without showing facial expressions. That's horrifying. That so fun, that oh, this one's good. <laughs> what the f is that, dude? What? Says it's in Texas. What the f is that, dude?
I like how everyone in the, the comments of these videos has all this evidence that they've seen. And it's like, dude, if you've seen all this crap, why wouldn't you be posting it? Just everybody in the comments is saying, oh, that's how all the wildfires started. Maybe. I don't know. But if you supposedly have a photo that's pretty crazy or you saw a plastic trash can that wasn't melted when all the homes were evaporated, maybe you should be posting that and not commenting on TikToks about it. I don't know. If I had hard proof evidence that some government agency was starting wildfires, you know, I would probably put that online somewhere. Oh, I don't know about all that, uh, but time to get a new chair. What's going on in the garage or garage for my UK followers? Just a ghost getting a workout in. Hmm. He's doing sprints back and forth. He just likes the strobe effect. Hmm. You want to see me go? You want to see me go to the other side of the garage and back? You want to see me do it again? Oh, what's looking at you? All of it. Yeah. You good? For like 10 minutes this went on. And I'm like, oh my god, could you stop? Oh, you're looking at your cat. No, somebody just walked through my kitchen and Bobby freaked out. Did you see him run? Yeah. I saw him, like, yeah. He's, he's still sitting there looking at it. What is it? How are you going to say and somebody? His like, tail is Yeah, switching. I saw his tail. I'll move. Is the person still there? I'll be you okay. I don't know. It still like feels really weird in here, but I only saw that like for a second. How are you gonna be that calm? Also the same direction that when you said that there were. Oh. Oh my God! It's Brendan. He's outside now. Thank oh. God, <laughs> Brendan. No, he's not. He saw a man. No, he's not. No, he's not. There is literally. Wait, how'd your door just open? I... No one's out there. You're lying. How did her door no, just I'm open? No, I'm not. How was she so calm about somebody walking across her kitchen in the first place? Is he messing with you? No. Oh, your mom or something. It's not in the fridge, bro. Yeah, oh, she I was looking into the kitchen. Someone. I told him to come down here. I, I literally live in the middle of nowhere. You guys saw my door open. Yes. That was the craziest thing I've ever I just want to know how she was so calm in the first place about somebody walking. Somebody walked across my kitchen and my cat freaked out. You didn't freak out? <laughs> I would have been out of there, son. I would have been the one opening the door because I would have been running. Another sideways video. I bet the doll moves. It's always the doll. She's got a full color reset, bro. That's cool. Good for her. Ooh, and a tea set. Oh, man. That tea party about to go crazy. I knew it was going to be the doll. Is this this? Is this the same girl that was in the little tent thing? Had the... Ugh. I don't know why that little girl seems so familiar. Was she the same girl that did the little, you know, we saw it a couple weeks ago. It was the tent and then she ran out. She like stopped and was staring at something and then she ran out and then a black shadow went by out of her doorway. I think that was the same girl. She's trying to be a little vlogger. Not sure if she's like way ahead of the trend with like faking the haunted videos and stuff as a little kid. 
Maybe she's a smart little kid and she knows that people aren't going to question it because she's a little kid. So maybe she's faking all these. Or I could be wrong. That's not the same little girl. I don't know. What is hiding behind a tree? That's Shadow Bigfoot. Shadowfoot. <laughs> you got Bigfoot and Shadowfoot. At least this is finally someone who like approaches it. It doesn't just... Ugh. Please rotate your phone. I'm not on my phone. I'll rotate my head. What is bro doing? Just out here chilling in the middle of the night. That's an alien. He's just pondering his life. Trying to figure out what we're doing here. But not his next move. Get that lower, closer down here. Oh, see it right there? What is it? A bone. A bone? Bone. I don't see it. Oh, it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy smokes. Time to go. <laughs> Alright, I like this guy. Who doesn't love a good echo? Don't love that. What was that? Hello? stuff you're gonna run away as soon as you get the whole point of abandoning these or exploring these abandoned places is to find creepy stuff right what, what, you're gonna get scared of the first creepy thing you find man i would have done the same thing <laughs> but i don't go exploring abandoned places you know uh that's a good time Oh, we have fun. There you have it, folks. That is another compilation of some of the weirdest, creepiest, and most unexplained TikToks I can find. Don't forget to join me every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday for a brand new video, and every Sunday for a live stream from next Sunday forward. So that's cool. All at 4.15 p.m. PST. Check out the merch shop if you're into that kind of thing. It's down below if you want to help support the channel some more. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate and love every single one of you. And uh, I will see you on Thursday. So until next time, stay creepy.